Diary. What a few weeks it's been for your beloved leader. I am the man of the moment. I feel so close to power right now and so excited that a bit of we has come out. I can hear the people chanting around the country, Inda! Inda! And all this talk of a heave is nonsense. The Fenugoyle front bench is right behind me, exactly where I want them. Well, maybe I'd prefer them a little to the left and maybe kneeling down in a puddle or something. Nothing can stop me now. Ah, oh, feck, I forgot about that meeting with Joan Burton. Come in, Joan! And, uh, Hello. Eamon Kilmore would like to extend his invitation to you... My ears! ...to partake in seasonal refreshments and hospitality of the Labour Party tonight oh. at Liberty Hall! No feckin' way! Those beardy trade union types in their semolina-smelling suits... Oh. Not my kind of style, John. He also wants to know about the possibility of a repeat of the Mullingar Accord. Yes, but it'll need a more sexy setting, like the Paris or Dubai Accord. We'd prefer something more working class, like uh, the back of Supermax Agreement. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, John, you're looking very well these days. In your dreams, Kenny! <laughs> oh, yes, she wants me, diary. I see how Joan looks at me, her lazy eye twitching like 90 when I walk into the dark. She's a face on her like a wrench, the way she makes my nuts tighten. But I'm well spoken for, and Fanula knows who the boss is in the Kenny household. I try not to be too bossy, of course, but a man at... Oh, fick, it's her. Hello, Munchkin. Y yes, I am using the hairspray you gave me. Oh, the backbenchers are fine. I think I've truly stamped my authority and... Oh, Richard Bruton would never... You want me to do what? How would I convince him to go to Bail Nabla? What if the shooter was to miss? No, 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 anyway, it's too windy down there. Imagine the split ends. God, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Well, I was going to hang around for just the one pint. Okay, I'll go straight home. Right away, Fanula, my sweet. <sighs> anyway, diary, things are looking up. Soon I'll be Tishuk. More popular than Bertie. Yes, I can. How are you, Biffa? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, wrong office. How are you, Ender? Oh, hello, Bertie. Come on <laughs> in. Rest up your sore leg. Thanks. How is it, anyway? Ah, uh, me metatarsal is still broke. Like the bleeding country, what? <laughs> <laughs> I see you're down in the polls. Well, uh, You'd want to watch the backbenchers, Kenny. They'll, they'll hound you out, you know. No, I think I've given them the slip this time, Bertie, you know. And you've plenty of slips to give them. Huh? Pink chiffon ones, I'd say. What? <laughs> what did you say? Hey, nothing. Anyway, have you no new job yet, Bertie? Well, I applied for a false course the other day. Ooh. Nothing fancy, just a bit of gardening. Ooh. But they wanted to send me first class to New York with free shopping and manicures. Those blaggers. Uh, which reminds me, I'm late for me trainee lunch with Roddy Malloy. What? Starters in Dubai and main course in Florida. For you don't do it by half measures and false. <laughs> Good luck. Some people get all the fun. But I feel my day is coming, diary. This time next year, I'll be Taoiseach. I will rise this Christmas, the star from Castle Bar, the plonker who will conquer, the Crimbo Bimbo. A fake diary, another bit of wee has come out. Oh, for God.